All right, welcome back. Here in this Revit architecture tutorial, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at PDFing. It's one of the most common things. Once you finish your architectural project here in Revit, you want to get it outputted so that you can present it and so that you can send it off to a client or professor, whatever you need to do. So let's look at that here. Um, I'm going to very soon bring you the production of this entire project. But right now, what I want to do is just, just the printing. Revit to PDF. So let's come up here to the top to the R or file, and I'm going to click on that. And we'll come down here to print. If I click on my print here, you'll see here by default, you'll see whatever locally loaded printers I might have available here in my print menu. And I'm going to click my drop down. You'll see the Adobe PDF, I have that driver loaded uh, for my PDF. You may have Cute PDF Writer, I know, is a very common PDF, free PDF um, print driver available online, and there's many others. I will tell you from experience that some of the free print drivers, depending on the graphic settings of the views on your sheet, sometimes those views may not appear. So as I've gotten accustomed to telling my students, make sure that you preview your PDF set after it prints before you call yourself just submitting it, whether it be online or uh, waiting until the last second to print it because it may not show up. So we're going to use the Adobe since I do have that one on my machine. If you're working um, on a computer that already has some of the Adobe Creative Suite on it, this PDF sh driver should show for you as well. Now I want to get into the menu here. There's a couple things. First, I can print just my the current view, which is going to be the sheet you see behind us. I can print this based on the visible portion of that view. So if I'm zoomed in, it's actually going to zoom in on this current window behind me. Or we'll use select views. For us, since I already have a 1 through 10 presentation sheets set up in this model, we're going to use that. So I'm going to select views and then let's hit select once. Now I just want to break down this menu just a little bit for you. It's the view sheet set menu. If you see, if I scroll down here, what I'm seeing on the list is every 3D view, every elevation, floor plan, and on and on. Because right now I have both the sheets and the views selected. If I uncheck the views, Revit goes through, filters my project, and just searches out the 10 sheets that we have in here. And vice versa. If you were looking for just a 3D view in your project that you wanted to create a PDF of, you could filter out the sheets. But we're going to check just the sheets 1 through 10. And I could uncheck some of these if I didn't want some of them to show up. But I want to make sure that I check all of them. So you can check them each manually or over here you can use your check all or check none. And I'm going to use that. And then I want to click OK. And yes, I could save these settings if I needed to. I'm not going to save these settings right now. I'm just going through this for your benefit. I want to come back up to this file section here. Now that we've designated the particular sheets that we wanted to print, this portion of the menu, I tend to click combine the sheets into a single file. I just want one PDF that I'm going to label presentation PDF, and it's going to have 10 sheets to it. If you want to PDF each sheet individually, well, you would use separate files there. So I'm going to just use this and I'm going to go ahead and give us give ourselves I'm going to put this out on my desktop and we're just going to name this test 2 smarter architect PDF And if I hit save here, 
Now that's going to change the file path right here. So this is very important to make sure you browse out. You can see I'm I'm saving currently to my desktop, wherever you want to save to. And then let's take a look at what we have. Let's hit OK. It's letting me know Revit is doing some roster printing to create this PDF. And then you'll see it's actually going to bring up that file path one more time for the file save as. And I just hit save here. And if you watch up top, you'll see this menu. Let me drag it down here in the middle. You'll see that it's Revit's going through the pages and it's using that PDF, that Adobe PDF driver, and it's sending all 10 of my sheets. And actually over here on the project browser, you would even see them bold as Revit's going through. So it will open the PDF when it's complete and you'll see I have a 10 sheet PDF here. And if I just go through this PDF now, you'll see the elevation views, you'll see my axons, you'll see my sectional perspectives, and my site plans and axon view, and my schedules, and the path for my walkthrough and the other information that was incorporated into this project. So PDFs are pretty simple process and I hope this video will be helpful for you as you move forward in creating PDFs.